All right, good morning and welcome to day two. Day one was a mitigated disaster, not an unmitigated disaster. It was mitigated by at least two life lifelisters, maybe three, but most likely just two. And I'm back at it again on almost no sleep, maybe three and a half hours of sleep. Um, and I foolishly came out to the fishing spot without my sunglasses, since there is no sun, and glare is everywhere. It's like Phil Dumpy, I should be yelling at glare. All right, I'm not seeing anything in this very limited uh, freezing rock area, so let me turn this off. All right, next spot, plowing through the other, the so far fishless day, two. Um, this is the, the first spot of the weekend so far that I have hit that I only have, um, or that I don't have a, a single darter species specked out. I'm um, here looking for a highback chub. Um, with no darter species spec, I assume this is going to be where I get a life or darter. But I'm happy to take a little break, bending over and staring at rocks. I, uh, this looks like a really good place, but I see nothing so far. Although I must say over there is likely a much better spot. It's uh, where the current is going. So there's going to be oxygenated water, bait flowing, whatnot. I see fish, a school of them. Let's see if they have interest. Oh yeah, they're slinking on over there, taking a look. I mean, oh, there we go. What have we got? Oh, a beautiful fish. I don't know what that is. Holy cow, that's gorgeous. Woohoo! my goodness. All right, this looks like a dace, actually. Probably, probably just a rosy side dace. The one fish group I said that it wasn't. Ah, uh, yeah, it's a dace. Ah, uh, and it's shaped like a rosy side. Oh, it's too bad. Beautiful fish, though. Um, I mean, there's mountain red belly dace up in here, but that's not what this is. Unless it's a smoky dace. Which I don't think it is. I don't know. That's gorgeous though. Some darker ones and much bigger ones down here. Which I have hopes that they are my target chub. Oh my gosh, what? Oh man, look at that. Wow. Holy crap. That is amazing. Oh, there's a really big fish down there at the bottom. Just swam through. Um, I want to take one more and move on because I want to, I mean, if this is like a smoky day, something that's not common, I don't want to stress them. They're taking too many out of the water. Oh, that's a big dark one there. Did you get it? Something got it. Yeah. Oh, no. Terrible hook set. Terrible hook set. Oh, wow. Another hook set that clearly wasn't very good either. That's a little better. And same fish. Same species. It's more along the lines of the first one. Uh, it looks like actually maybe in the middle, in between. Oh, it's just gorgeous. All right. Man, here they be. That is the big one. There's the, the tweener. Oh, so gorgeous. Get these uh, stupid twigs out of here. Ah, oh, beautiful, but dang. Get out of town. Look at that thing there, man. Holy crap. That's gorgeous. Sickening. Oh, 
Anyway, this guy's acting like his mouth is, is stuck open. Oh, no, hey, hey, hey. Oh, man. All right, this is uh, the best spot I had to spec out for uh, Mountain Red Belly Days. And uh, I did not didn't realize it was such a giant drop. Basically, the hook set has to get it from the water over the foliage. Oh, wait. There we go. No, oh, that's just a chub. Creek variety. Well, well so far zero oh, target species today. And another rosy side. Wow, they do love to just open that mouth. Like as wide as it goes, like it's stuck open. I get that hook out of here. I see a lot of action now. I'm gonna have to walk down there. Uh, be before I get to the, there's a point where you can't go, but it's before that point. So go down there and check it out. See if there's something in the shallower water that, oh, wow, that was a big fish. Well, coming to the other side. So the places I was looking at has have nothing. So I'm just coming to the other side of this big pool. See if the calmer end has what I'm looking for. This part does not. Although that one, it had a little tap right at first. Uh, of course, first thing I had to do is contend with this overhanging vegetation. Oh, that's a Oh, that could be a chub. Oh my God. No, that's another dace. I got rosy side again. Yeah, they're all rosy sides in filthy water, except for that is a creek chub right there. Yeah, that's, that's a nice big. I had sun for a second. Another big rosy side and a little one. There's the sun, and the most colorful one is hiding. Let me get him. All right, this does not look that impressive compared to those ones at the last spot, but still a beautiful fish. All right, next spot. Uh, still looking for southern or mountain red belly days. But the southern part of that name is just stuck in my brain. And crescent shiner, another pretty common shiner where it ranges, and I still can't ever manage to catch one. Um, and here they should also there should also be chainback darter. I'm looking around, I don't see any shiners, I don't see any chubs, I don't see any darters, I don't see anything at all. Oh, there's one. There's, I mean, uh, a shiner. Looks like a striped fish. Oh, okay, there's a little, little uh, trail of them here. And, oh, there's another one. So hopefully these are crescents. That one is really colorful. I really hope I do get a crescent. It's a, oh, nice nuptial. Uh, that's probably a white shiner. That's my problem. When I come into crescent country, I just always get white. Uh, let's see. And that's what it is. That's, yeah. that's what I'm saying, man. Really annoying. There we go. 
Another white. It's a little different, but well, I don't know. One of the ones in my net has a brown back, and one has a blue back. I don't know if that's male, female, or different species. Didn't really give the second one much of a look, I must say. There's another. Ooh, right in there. That's a brown back. I think the blue back is the same. But I don't know. Actually, well, let's go look at them. All right. So the the smaller one, the brown one, is a satin fin, I think. It's some sort of cipronella. And the other two, I think, I am safe to call them white shiners. Let's see if I can. Um, Not sure if it's a satin fin or um, spot fin. I don't know. Interesting. It's definitely cipronella. Yeah, these are white. At first second, I thought it was a fiery black. Um, it's got the red nose, uh, but it doesn't have the right fin colors. Yeah, this is just a white. Sometimes they get the orange on the dorsal and the anals. I think this is the bigger one. This is the first one. Yeah, definitely white. I think, yeah. Look at the front. Yeah, I don't think, I think it's gotta be a white. It's upper fin. Love those, some of those to have crescents in them, but they're not. Those might be a little too big to be what I'm looking for, but it could be dace. Those look like chubs. Ugh, that big one just really looks like a chub. I mean, the odds that these are creek chubs are 99%. As we're about to find out. Nope, something else. It's... Looks like a little satin fin that I just caught, and so now, oh, I'm just dropping, just blind dropping in this ripply areas here, and just got another, what looks like another cipron, little mini cipronella. I don't know if it's the water or the wind, but it, everything has become faster and more ripply. Just yeah, I mean, I see him there, but he's not facing the right way. Oh, there he is. He went right after. Ah, that was a different one. He came right out of the no, out of nowhere. It's got it. Yes. Now, if you're a fan, tell him to scream. No, you look kind of like something I need. Oh, there's some little ones here. some of them out of here so I can see the other ones but yeah, it looks like a couple I need a couple I wanted oh that's a darter right there huh <laughs> one of the minnows I caught is a darter I don't know whether to celebrate or go get a complete neurological workout right. I guess it could be a uh, dusky or here I don't know It's not a Piedmont. It's, bars aren't big enough. I need you to open your dorsal for me, please. Oh, he did for one half second. Okay, let's get these things out of here. My bum bum hurts. Um, yeah, that's the two of the Cipronellas that are here. All right, is it like rosy side days, or is this? Uh, Red lip shiner, maybe? Yeah, I think it was a red lip. Yeah, that's pretty much what it's got to be. 
Looks cool. It's a new species for this trip. Very cool. Alright, let's see if I can get a dorsal out here. So the dorsal has definite markings that could be helpful. That could be a Piedmont. I, I might just be looking at yet another repeat. I guess I'm going to have to try to get his dorsal out in my hand. So annoying. Better get the dorsal open. Uh, how do they? How are the people on the intertubes, internet, interwebs? Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. There it is. There we go. Right. It's like dark on the outside, the orange submerged, all thick. Fishing from a bridge 8 billion miles in the air and fishing for shiners. And that was a shiner bite. I need to pull a shiner. Oh, there it goes. All the way up here. Looked like a white shiner. Fishing for crushing shiners. And it's really difficult to set a good hook here because. It'll rip them out of the water and then splash them back down. Oh, mother cuss bucket. I'll splash them back down, which will, uh, or, you know, bang them again against the line. And where is the deer? Where's the deer? There it is. Right. of that approach. That's how close I get before he takes off. Huh, let me get pretty close. And there he goes. 